Welcome to this quick tutorial from Otomio AI. In this video, you will learn how to create captivating images by combining different AI models called LoRa's. And also, you will learn how to create your first image using efficient nodes. Let's dive right in. If you haven't installed or didn't know how to start Comfy UI, check out my previous videos. The first thing you have to do is to search for efficient nodes inside the Custom Nodes Manager. If you haven't installed it yet, you can check my first tutorial about Comfy UI to install it. After the installation, close the pop-up window and restart the editor. Once you've restarted the editor, you're all set to work with me. Now. Let's add the Efficient node to your project. Double-click in an empty space and type Efficient Loader. Select and you'll find various options inside a single box that will make handling those messy cables from Comfy UI much easier. In this Efficient Loader, you have positive and negative prompts, as always. You can also add LoRa's in the same board and even expand the LoRa amount of LoRa's for your workflow with the LoRa stacker. If you want to generate content using a different method or aim for higher quality, you can change the base model to a customized one or even experiment with the Stable Diffusion XL model. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, I will use the Stable Diffusion SD 1.5 as it yields exceptional results, it should suffice. To load the sampler, double-click in an empty space and type Casampler. Then, choose the efficient version. Okay guys, for this workflow, I attempted to combine two models, one called Dobby and other Hobby. The last thing you need to do is add the LoRa stacker. This tool allows you to combine multiple LoRa's in a single stack which can lead to exceptional results. Now that everything is set up, just click Q prompt and let the workflow do its magic. Check it out. It's a weird but amazing mix of two concepts that have nothing in common in an exceptional way. And it seems to mix elements from both. You can find this workflow in my GitHub repo, tweak the weights a bit to fine tune the generation output and get exceptional and stable results. Remember that you can find both models inside. Civit AI is a great place to start. You can find checkpoints, base models, lorays, and so on. Think. You have to see it for yourself. Go to the GitHub repo and download it now. I'll leave the links in the description below. Trust me, you won't regret it. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you encounter any issues or have questions, feel free to reach out. Stay tuned for more educational videos on our channel, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.